What's up everyone? So we've just arrived in uh, Cordoba from Seville. It took about one hour and 40 minutes I think to get here. And we used a new thing to get here this time. We didn't get the, the bus. We used an app called Blablaca, which is basically someone that's already making the trip here can like sell their seats. So um, it ends up being a lot cheaper than the bus. I think it cost us 15 euros to get here and it would have cost us 25 euros. And I check into our homestay. You can already see it looks pretty cool. I think this is like the old city walls. I'm not sure. Got some interesting houses here. And yeah, these city walls just go all the way down here. All right, we're in the old town now. Cool alleyways. Yeah, this looks really ancient, right? <laughs> Check this out. Been here one minute and already looking at souvenirs. <laughs> what is it? Carolina. <laughs> Where's Chris? No? Christina. Christina. I'll, I'll go with that. <laughs> Christina from now on. place we entered back there was actually a Jewish synagogue from the 1300s and it's only one of the three synagogues in the entire of Spain and it's the only one in Andalusia so I think the Jews were exposed from Spain in like the 1400s but yeah that still remains so pretty interesting just walking down some random alleyways now empty alleyways found some pretty interesting parts so check this out so here we seem to have the university, um, International Islamic University. And you can see, so Andalusia, when it was under Islamic rule, was called Al-Andalus. So that's how you would have pronounced it. Pretty cool doorway as well. Check that out. Cool ceramic over there. Anything down here, Carol? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? There's a restaurant and another alleyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very different to Seville here. The old part of Seville was kind of like, yeah, wider roads and stuff. Here's all like little alleyways. Um, yeah, you can just tell it's a lot more ancient looking for sure. Mm -hmm. Now come to what's probably the most popular place to visit here in the old town. I think it's called Mesquita Catedral de Cordoba. So yeah, it's a really old cathedral and I think there's even a mosque inside it apparently, which is yeah, super unique. So we're just gonna check that out now. It costs 10 euros to enter each. So yeah, I think this is gonna be good. We're on the grounds of like the cathedral now. Looks beautiful here though. Check this out. Pretty huge square. Where do we go, tour guide? You don't know. You don't know? Maybe. Over there, where the people are. 
Yeah. <laughs> so we've entered the cathedral now. Got all these amazing arches all over the place. Not sure if that's like the Muslim part or the or the Christians, not sure. The mosque I think was built in the 8th century and then the uh, Christians kind of took over in the 13th century. Basically when the Muslims had to like leave Spain when they lost the territory. Definitely unique. So we left the cathedral, I think we were there for about an hour. We're gonna head down this bridge over here that was apparently made by the Romans. Got this awesome arch here or something. <laughs> nice one, Carol. And that's the back of the cathedral right there. So, <laughs> yeah, I like Carol showing. So this whole area here is just absolutely amazing. How to take a selfie by Carol. Today is definitely the hottest day that we've had um, since we've been in Europe. I think so, right? Yeah. It's like 37 degrees, so just scorching. Cause see down here, we seem to be going to, to a fort or something. I'm not sure. See the river here? It's like a murky brown color. The further you get away from it, the better you can see the cathedral. Okay, so we found this little like place to sit down and have some oh crap that was my phone <laughs> oh, man. okay so we found this little spot to to sit down like a square have some drinks because it's so hot and the place is literally turned into like a, a ghost town there isn't a single person here now i mean look at this just nobody in the streets at all they call it the siesta time where it's like the really hot period during the day everyone just goes goes home and rests just That's, not me and carol yeah, we're, we're we hardcore should, we should be resting we should be resting yeah <laughs> it is bizarre seeing it like this so look there isn't anyone at all the alleyway is all empty it is such a nice place here though like yeah, I'd, I'd say it's like a gem because it's not really that packed either. Just pretty relaxed. Like Seville was really busy. Seville was still awesome, but it was really busy. But here there's just nobody and yeah, just all these ancient streets and, and things like that. Just amazing. <laughs> we found another really cool spot here. Looks like some old castle or something. Got this huge wall here. I think it's a museum as well. Uh, yeah, we might try and go in. We don't really know what to do right now. Like I said, there's nobody really around anymore. And uh, yeah, a lot of places have actually closed. So yeah, we might see if this place is open because it looks cool. Carol just wants to sit here for the rest of the day. It's too hot. <laughs> it is too hot, right? 
everything does actually close at like 3 15 p.m in the summer because it gets so hot like we've been saying so yeah everything is just closed now we can't really go anywhere else today so i think i might have to continue this video tomorrow i mean look how amazing that looks with the palm trees palm trees in a castle that's not something i've seen very often so yeah i might have to see you um tomorrow then as I mentioned yesterday, we've uh, come to that cool castle looking building. It is called Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos. So it was built in the 14th century for the Christian kings to stay in when they were visiting Cordoba. So yeah, that's why this building is here. Right now we just stood on this balcony inside, kind of overlooking this cool courtyard here. Pretty nice. And we're going to explore the rest of the place. So we're at the highest point of the tower now. You can see the beautiful looking garden. Gonna have to check that place out later on. And here you get a pretty good 360 view of the whole city. So there you got the cathedral, the mosque church. This is just where we came up now. But look how beautiful this place looks. And there you got the, uh, the Roman bridge. Should we head down to that garden? Yeah. Yeah. Banyos Arabis. <laughs> Where are we going, Carol? This is the Banyos Arabis. <laughs> Not quite sure what we're looking at here though. So the garden is really huge, it's a lot bigger than it looked at the top of the tower. And I forgot to mention that it is uh, 5 euros per person, so pretty cheap compared to the entrance fees of other places. So you definitely get your money worth. You can see the garden looks really cool here. I guess these are the kings or something. Looks like a king and a queen. But yeah, all over there's just loads of little beautiful fountains and pools. Flowers as well. Okay, so we're gonna be heading out of the garden now. I've gotta to go to Seville in about an hour's time. So yeah, I don't have much more time. So as always, just thanks for watching. Drop a like to support me. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.